when will reporters be allowed to tour facilities holding children who cross the southern border? Well, first, um, we are working to finalize uh, details, and I hope to have an update in the coming days. Uh, we are working through with uh, the Department of Health and Human Services and also the Department of Homeland Security to ensure uh, privacy and ensure we're following COVID protocols. We remain committed to transparency. And of course, as I noted last week, we certainly want to make sure that uh, the media has access uh, to uh, these uh, sites. Now that the public is seeing some of the images because the congressional delegation provided some photos and descriptions about mm -hmm. what they witnessed, is that not a crisis? Well, children uh, presenting at our border who are fleeing violence, who are fleeing prosecution, who are fleeing terrible situations is not a crisis. Uh, we feel that uh, it is our responsibility to humanely approach uh, this circumstance and make sure they are treated with, uh, treated and put in conditions that are safe. Uh, I will say that, um, you know, these photos show what we've long been saying, which is that the, these Border Patrol facilities are not places made for children. Uh, they are not places that we want children to be staying for an extended period of time. Our alternative is to send children back on this treacherous journey. That is not, uh, in our view, the right choice to make. And so our focus now is on putting in place is on solutions and putting in place policies, including uh, expediting processing at the border, opening up additional facilities, something that you've seen developments on over the past several days, and there'll be certainly more on. So our focus is on solutions and implementing them as quickly as possible.